Ilya Tapuria is going to remind everyone that he is the best featherweight in the world. And he is going to knock Max Holloway out in round three. Put just just put it down, dude. Just put it down. It's gonna happen. I mean, look at the end of the day, Ilya Tapuria's power is just too much right now for Max Holloway. Max Holloway almost uh got knocked out by the Korean zombie. People forget about that. He got hurt by the Korean zombie. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit there. Uh, he didn't get knocked down or anything. But at the end of the day, Max Holloway is not at this level, man. He's not at Ilya's level. And um, a lot of his performances recently have been showing me that. Um, Max Holloway is a primary boxer. He doesn't throw crazy kicks. He has better kicks than Ilya, but his kicks are not like Yair. He's not a kicker. Um, his boxing is what sets him apart, his volume striking, but Ilya is just a way better boxer than Max, and I just think the short, compact bo uh, power of Ilya Tapuri is going to knock Max Holloway out. Max Holloway's coming back down from 155 to 145, and I just think Ilya's going to put him out. I think it's going to be like a flash, like KO. Um, I think it's going to be like a a like he's going to Ilya's going to switch stance into a lead overhand or some shit. And KO Max Holloway after chopping his legs. And I think Max Holloway just doesn't have the speed of Ilya either. I just don't think Max Holloway's got this, man. He's got short arms. He has to kind of come forward. Max is not one of those guys that can keep that far reach and far range. He needs to kind of take some risks. And I think with Ilya Tapuria, that's just a recipe for disaster. I got Ilya winning this fight very easily. And also, that doesn't even come... Uh, that We're not really... Fucking stuttering, but the grappling of Ilya is also something that could be a big factor in here as well. Uh, Ilya's uh, takedowns could be mixed in. Uh, Max does have really good takedown defense, but again, like Ilya can definitely get him down, and I just think Ilya also can get some work done on the ground. There's just no way Max wins this fight. I think the only way you can pick Max is if you're a Max Holloway fanboy and just are a casual who just saw his KO against Justin Gaethje and were like, oh wow, Max Holloway's the best fighter. In the world, he got destroyed by Volkanovski in their third fight. Let's forget about that. Uh, come on, guys. I got Ilya Tapuria. It's a pretty easy pick. There isn't much to this fight, in my opinion. And I know some people might not like that reality, but I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I really don't care. Cry about it. Ilya's going to win. Ilya's going to knock Max all the way out. And all of the Ilya haters are going to cope about it because Ilya, you know, has a lot of haters because he's a confident guy. He's confident in himself, he's confident in his skill set, and that makes people upset because they can't relate uh, to that. So Ilya Tapuria is going to knock Max Holloway out in round three. Uh, and yep, uh, check out my last video where I talk about uh, Anthony Fluffy Hernandez beating everyone at 185. I'm also um, going to make some more videos this week. Uh, probably my next video is going to be on Hamzat versus Robert Whitaker. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Check out my... Uh, other videos and subscribe, leave a like and I'm out. Peace.